Now, there are times uh, in your mind when you get told that you're in an overwhelming situation and there's nothing you can do to save yourself from what is about to occur. It's during these times that through your relationship with God, you'll overcome and come through it. If you're joining us in going through the six-month reading plan through the Book of Psalms, today's reading are Psalms 123 and 124, and I encourage you to read those Psalms. Well, Psalm 124, verses 2 through 5 says this, Had it not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger was kindled against us, then the waters would have engulfed us. The stream would have swept us over our soul, and the raging waters would have swept over our soul. The psalmist wants to encourage us when we're feeling completely overwhelmed with life struggles. He wants us to let us know that God is the one who will save us from the battles. He wants to tell us that we can trust in God so that no matter what is going on, our lives are secure in Him. Many times in our lives, we face struggles that are disheartening at best. There doesn't seem to be a way that anything good can come out of the battle, and we just don't understand why God has taken us on this path. But no matter what, we are in the midst of the struggle, and we only have two choices. The easier way is to succumb to the struggle, and the other way is to place ourselves in God's hands. The battle is what Paul must have gone through when he was jailed in Philippi. He had not done anything wrong, and yet here he was sitting in a jail cell, not knowing what his punishment would be. This is what Peter must have gone through immediately after he denied Christ. Many of our storied leaders in the church have faced struggles that have seemed overwhelming, and yet God has taken them through it. We as a society are going through a series of struggles now. Many of us are wondering how um, we are not going to be overwhelmed by the hate and the fear that is being displayed by the people, and also the results of that hate and fear. Now, unless God intervenes, the United States will never be the same again. We need to be mindful that uh, we have to trust God in ways that we have never trusted Him before. We need to seek Him out, and we need to repent. And if you would like a PDF copy of this entire reading plan, please send an email to PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.